So guys, for the first step, you want to go to the link which will be down below in the description to download Microsoft Visual C++. And now once you're on this, you want to scroll down. There's going to be two downloads, one for x86 and one for x64. We're going to download both of them. So you want to click on both of them and it's now going to start downloading. And now once it's been downloaded, we can now right click on one of them and then click on show in folder. And we should now be in our downloads folder with both these downloads. I'm going to install the first one on my list, it's going to be x86, I'm going to double click on it and now once this comes up you want to tick the box I agree and then click on install and then click on yes. It's now going to start installing and now once that's been installed we can now close out this. Now for the next one x64 double click on it, again you want to tick the box I agree and then click on install and then click on yes and now once it's been installed we can click on close. For the next step, you want to go to the link which will be down below in the description to download DirectX and use a runtime web installer. And now once you're on this, you want to scroll down, choose your language and then click on download. Now once that's been downloaded, you want to click on it and then click on yes. And now this will come up. And now once you're on this, you want to tick the box I accept and then click on next. We can untick this, we don't need the bing bar. And then click on next. Wait for this to load. And then click on next again. It's now going to start downloading components, wait for this to load. It's now going to start installing components, wait for this to load. And now once that's been done, you want to click on finish. And now for the last step, you want to restart your computer. And this should not fix your problem. If they're still not working, then you want to uninstall GTA 5 and then reinstall it again. And this should not fix your problem.